What is the crack and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you guys things I got in charity shops slash car boot sales. I haven't gone car boot sale in a while so I really need to start going because it's coming up near Christmas so people will be trying to get rid of a lot of old things so I should start going to them soon. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. I'm also going to be showing you guys an update for a new game I'm making. So the first game... I got is the Godfather. I actually like this on the PlayStation 2. I've never played it on the PSP. I'm just going to guess it's a slightly lower graphic version. But it's a really good game. Um, I actually have the like collector's edition of that in like, the metal box and all. Really good game. Uh, the next game is GTA Vice City Stories. I've never played Vice City Stories. I never played Vice City Stories or Liberty City Stories. Um, I don't know if they came out on the PSP first and then they brought them over to the, um, the PlayStation 2. Also, everything I got for one euro. So I got the Godfather for one euro. Um, when this game came out, used, this was 45 euro. Holy shit. Does this have the map? It does have a map. And that is weird. For the first time. Do you know the way they normally have a naked woman? Do you have a man on it? <laughs> that is weird. What the fuck? Obviously, well, not a naked woman. But they always have them like in bikinis or something. like. But that, that's weird. Um, the next game I have is Ghost in a Shell. Um, which one is this? Standalone Complex. I've um, never played it. All these games I've never played on the actual PSP. Um, but I think I have another Ghost in the Shell game. And I have two or three discs. I've never watched it. It's meant to be really good. Um, yeah, as you, in, on the back, there's like a huge uh, mech. I'm not a fan of mechs. I hate mechs. Sorry if I keep on looking over here. Um, I have my recording on a second screen instead of the screen in front of me, but... <clears throat> um, uh, mechs. I don't like mechs. There's something about them I just never got into. The only mech-ish game I liked was the mini game in Watch Dogs, where you played this huge tarantula and you had to like jump from building to building and like do as much damage as possible. Uh, just seeing if there's any fold uh, poster or anything in it. Um, <clears throat> what's it called? The anime though is meant to be amazing and I really want to try it because I have most of the discs there behind me. So I might actually try it one day. Another game I've never played but people love. Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I never got to play it. My PSP is hacked. Not hacked, modded. So I, ha I can like just put whatever game on it. But this was the only game that I couldn't get to work. Every game like... Uh, Dragon Ball Z, fucking Naruto, Jack and Dexter, Frontal Assault, or whatever the fuck it's called, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Size Doesn't Matter, or whatever the fuck it was called, Size Matters, um, fucking Little Big Planet, kind of worked, it was a bit, eh. This and Loco Roco, I think, were the only two games that didn't work. Either that or I couldn't... I didn't have enough space for Loco Roco, I can't remember. But, if I can get Loco Roco cheap enough, I'll buy it. Because that's an amazing game. The mechanics and all in that. The way you're like a blob and then you just divide. And when you divide into multiple pieces, you have to like send some pieces down that way. Some down that way to open different... Oh, it's such a good game. But, um, this is like an RPG, RPG game where it's just monsters. You have to go and kill them and get... Like, the hides of, like, a dragon to make, like, dragon armor. And then you do this to kill this thing. And it's meant to be really fucking good. I had one of them on the Wii. I don't know if I sold it or not. Actually, give me a second. Yeah, I think I sold it. But I had, had one of them on the Wii and... I played a bit of it. It was actually a pretty good game. Pretty good. I couldn't get over the whole nunchuck controls. I think that's the main reason why I sold it. 
And the last game is a game that every time I look up on the top 10 PlayStation 2 games, this bitch always pops up. Well, a variation of this bitch always pops up for top 10 PlayStation 2 games. Twisted Metal. I hate, you guys know, I hate racing games. I'm not a fan of them. But this is kind of like a Mario Kart-ish death battle game. I've never played it, so I might actually give it a go. Um, it's uh, Twisted Metal Online, or Twisted Metal Black Online. I got this for one euro. Um, the reviews, it's apparently one of, if not the best game on the PlayStation. The box is in really good condition as well. I'm surprised about that. But um, I actually need to start going CEX more and picking up a few cheap PlayStation 1 games because I haven't bought, or PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games. I don't know why I didn't just do this. I don't know why I fucking done that. My hand was on the mouse, so I just didn't want to lift it for some reason. Um, making sure it didn't fall as always. But um, I want to actually give it a go because it's, it's apparently a really good game. So now I'm going to show you this. This is just a box with Mario's um, fish, the flower, um, bubbles or some shit, uh, a mushroom, the Angry Birds guy, and whoever this dude is. And essentially, you guys will see now. So my face cam is going to go because I need to use it in uh, my game. So one sec. So here's my game. When I, you can see this shit, when I press play, you will hopefully see my face again. Actually, let me, let me just do one thing here real quick. There's my face. I forgot to turn it out of 2D and maximize on play. I've never max, maximized on play before, so I don't know how bad this is going to go. Okay. So, um... Shit, I can't remember which one was the front. I think it was the guy dancing. So, essentially what I do is this. And, wait, 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 that wasn't it. I think it was bubbles, was it? See, this part I haven't glued down yet because I was putting cardboard in it to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, It doesn't work with the flower. The flower, well, it does, but really badly. It takes, like, a week for it to pick it up. No? Okay. Um, bubbles. Okay. So right now, as you guys can see, I have an orc in my... Thank you, game. I have an orc in my hand. It's I want to add like a stick to it that I can turn it without actually affecting the image. But I have an orc in my hand. Come on, pick up the fucking image camera. There we go. I need to make this a little bit bigger the box so the images are well I just need to make better images these images are really bad for what I'm trying to do I just it's it's proof of concept at this point but I can like grab them rotate it around also these images aren't meant to be upside down they're meant to be this way you pick it up a lot better this way but uh, as what you guys can see it kind of fucks up that way because it thinks it's meant to be upside down but at the same time yeah see it, it starts to freak out. So it's meant to be like this. But for some reason it picks it up like this. I don't know why. I need to fix my character a little bit. It's not. It's literally like two buttons click the fix. I could literally do it right now if I wanted to. But it's just hassle. So like the whole idea. Yeah see. It worked better before I put cardboard in it. So I might just take the cardboard out. Because the cardboard kind of bulked it a little bit. And made it a little bit disori Not disorienting. A little bit. Uh, too big for the camera to pick up. So, is it going to pick up? Wait, it's meant to be upside down. So, with this, you can, like, hold the, the character. He's, he's lagging a little bit because he's moving. But, like, I can also, if it will allow me... Okay, pick him up here, please. There. So, you can click down here if you can see it. The little button. And he will attack. There. You can click that and you can fight. You can click this one and he'll he'll rotate. You have to click it a few times because it doesn't really want to work. See the way he's spinning now? You can press this one and he's like, yeah, fuck this, I'm out. He's like, yeah, I'm, go I'm going home, mate, bye. He's like, yeah, 
fucking see you. And he starts running at you. He's like, you're a fucking dick. A fucking shank you. Shik <laughs> da But, um... And let me put back on my face. My face. There we go. But, um... That was just like a, a, a small little one to see if I could get it working. If I can get it working, I'll make it proper. Maybe uh, like a plastic one that it actually picks it up and it's a little bit durable than a piece of paper. But it looks pretty good. I have a game in mind that I might start now, but at the same time, I still need to finish my Christmas game, which is due in this day next. It's due in in a week and one day. So eight days I need to make a game that I haven't started yet. So, I'm kind of fucked on that one, but there's just, I have a brilliant idea, and I want to ask my teacher if he still has a, a, something in the class. He got a load of them last year, and I want to see if he still has them. I don't want to say what it is, because he'll give it away, but if I can get one of them, and I can, like, kind of beta test the game, there should be a game coming up pretty soon for you guys to get. I'm not going to put it on the, at the Google Store, because it costs me, like, 25 euro to put up the game. But I will probably just put a download link in the description or something. Or I might do a thing where it's like if I get like one euro or some shit. Everybody give me like one cent each. Yeah, here's the game. I don't fucking know. I'm just joking. But um, I might sell the game. I really don't know. Like if I put it up on the store, I'd probably make it like 50 cent on the Google store. I'd have to, what, I'd have to get 50 buys to make back the 25 euro. Yeah, doesn't actually sound that bad. But, I'd say there's about 10 years I would probably buy it, so I'd be down 20 euro. I don't fucking know. But, the game is going to be well worth it if all you guys will need is an image. Like, just say, you'll need to go to a printer, print off one of these images, and boom, you guys will have a game. Which is going to be really, really cool. There's not going to be much to it but i will update it like as time goes on when i kind of understand it a lot more but yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you would buy the game let me know because i have a, i have a really good game idea that i might start making on the channel it, it from the top of my head it would only take like an hour to make like it's a pretty simple game but experiencing it is gonna be really cool if i'm th like if it's gonna work the way i'm thinking so i might do up a little demo now after this video and if i can get the demo ish to work i'll uh i'll start making it like into a game but yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up sorry there wasn't much games i haven't been going to many charity shops as i said or, or uh, car boot sales so they're a bit low but I'm trying my best to still keep this a weekly series. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video where my lips hope hopefully aren't out of sync real fucking soon. Bye!